Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to see how to create a simple countdown timer and also how to display it on the screen. So let's create an empty game object. We'll call it timer. And then let's create a UI text. And if you're going for regular text, in the new version of Unity, it is available in the legacy text area. So I'll go with the text mesh pro and I'll call it timer display. Select the timer game object. Let's add the timer script to it. Uh, we'll call it example timer. Let's create an add. Now we'll go into edit script, open it in Visual Studio. So first thing you're going to require is a float, which will be your countdown. Let's have it to 30 seconds as of now. Then you're going to require a public text game object. But before you add the public text game object, you need to add using TM Pro. So if you're using the regular text, then you have to use, uh, you have to add using unity engine dot UI. So here it will be tmp underscore text and let's call it text and in case of the regular text it will be public text text uh, this tmp underscore won't be there in case of the regular text so we have created a public text game object and we have and we have initialized the countdown with a value of 30 so let's go to update and if my countdown is greater than zero then i'm going to subtract countdown with time the delta time so in 30 seconds it will be zero and i'm going to display that to my text and in order to display that what you have to do is you have to use text dot text uh, this will remain same if even if you're using the old uh, unity text or you're using text mess pro it will be text or text equals uh, will be countdown since text or text takes a string and countdown is a float we have to convert that to string so using to string so that's it let's go back to the game since we have a public text game object, let's drag and drop our timer display here and let's play the game. As you can see, the countdown has started from 30 and it's going down, but there are a lot of decimal digits. So let's try to reduce it to two decimal digit. So for that, you need a double let's call it b you will have to use system dot math dot round bracket countdown and then number of decimal digits so i'll have two decimal digits And then in the display, I'll not display countdown, I'll display B. So now let's go back to the game. If we play it, as you can see, now we have two decimal digits. Now, if you want to display minutes and seconds separately, we will also see how to do that. So let's add two more text game objects, UI text, and we'll call it minutes. We'll keep it somewhere here. Then we'll duplicate it and we'll call this seconds and we'll keep it somewhere here. So this, the one in the center is your timer. This is the minutes remaining and this is the seconds remaining. So let's go back to our script. We'll add two more public text game objects. Public 
tmp underscore text and we'll this we'll call this minutes and then public tmp text and we'll call this seconds Now let's find out how many minutes are remaining. So what we have to do is let's go to minute equal to equal to mathf dot floor to int brackets your countdown timer divided by 60. So this will give you the minutes and similarly float second equal to mathf dot floor to end countdown divided by sorry modulo this will give you the seconds so now uh, minutes dot text equal to minute dot to string and your seconds dot text equal to second dot to string so now we are displaying the timer with two decimal digits and then we are finding out how many minutes are remaining and how many seconds are remaining and then displaying that in the other two text elements so let's save it and we have created two more public text objects so we have to assign them first select the timer so let's drag the minutes text to the minutes one and the seconds text to the seconds one and now let's play the game so the timer is running and as you can see it will display only the seconds so let's increase the time let's go and give it to 300 so let's go back to the game. Now play the game. And as you can see, it's 4 minutes 58 seconds. And this is your timer in numbers. So this is how you can create a simple timer and display the minutes and second. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.